Hey, this is five years old, and we have got a major problem. So I'm in the garage here, and our wonderful neighbor, Greg Mar, well, Greg, is uh, helping me to put electrical wiring into our sprinkler system. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Nobody's ever trained me or taught me how to do it. So uh, I'm going to do just a real quick video thing as we need to get watering done on our property here. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm Wayne's neighbor. He came in with a problem. Uh, was it yesterday? with his sprinkler system not working and so I came over and I checked the voltage on the uh, from the power supply and it showed no voltage so I told him to order a new power supply from Amazon which he did it came in today I'm in the process now of it, they all seem to come with an end that you can plug into something doesn't matter what so I cut the end off what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna strip two ends to peel this back a little bit so I have more, more uh, wire to work with and I'm gonna plug it on to the uh, system and we're gonna get it uh, Reprogrammed and hopefully that will get him back. I got a single edge razor. I'm just going to cut this outside uh, insulation back, separate okay. the two uh, inside wires. That way I have more space to uh, work with. Mike. So you, uh, what did you say? Why this is not working again? That you said that in our units here that they put in when they built these houses, they're about five years old now, right? Yeah, about five. And then you. So how do you know which where to put what wire where? It's AC, it doesn't matter. Let's see, John. So both those wires, it doesn't matter where they're connected, it's just well, those... they got to connect this top, the, the second one and third one up. And which one goes which side does not matter. And what's the bottom one for? Is the ground? It's a ground. Put this power supply. Right. Said you re had to replace yours, replaced your electrical supply, thing. Yeah. So on that third one up from the bottom, the, is it a different wire going out to that also? Yeah, it's 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 AC. So you you got your sine wave. It goes here's zero. It goes up and then down and up. Okay. So it doesn't matter which side wire goes what because they're going to get 24 volts eventually on both sides. Power now, but we didn't have power before, so. So then, what's what's not connecting then? I don't know. It's warm out here. Yeah, only 90 some degrees and humidity. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to get my voltmeter. I'll have to check it. I mean, we got power. In the barn. Guess where I'm at. Yep. Unit is fried. Unit is fried. Right, Greg? Yeah. We're here at Home Depot. There goes there goes my money. Hey, well, how much was this thing? Here we go. I'm gonna show you right. So it's a 12 zone timer. Our, our irrigation system here on the homestead. So. Oh, 
so there's there's inscription in the plastic box. Okay, Greg. So we got every all the wires here uh, pretty much loosened and disc and uh, they're not connected anymore. And we were trying to figure out what uh, PM PMV uh, what that meant. Oh, right there, you got your common, which goes to every uh, valve. Yeah. And you got your PMV, which you have a master valve since you don't have a what's called a, a, a double check valve. To yeah. Keep water from flowing back into the water supply. Right. This valve stays closed until something turns on and opens it. That's it's it, it's I think it's a minimum of uh, ten feet. From the from the from the house or from the main water supply, so it gets, separates it from everything else. So once the system shuts off, that valve shuts off. So basically, you have two valves between any chemicals in your lawn and your water supply. That's what that's for. Okay. That's what that's what the purpose of a check valve is. It's, it's a spring op operated valve that opens up and water presses presses in to flow into the system. Right. But once that water shuts off to your to your system. Those valves close, so if you have any chemicals in your lawn, they can't leach back into the house. I see. Through the water, like over the winter months, you have water in your pipes. Right. And, you, and somehow chemicals get in there, it can leach back way into your house and you be drinking your chemicals. Yeah. Which isn't a good thing, so. No, it's not. Yeah. Let's these pulled off. But we can finish this thing up. Okay, PMV that way. Go. Okay, so there's all 